R35 love. I, before we get into the video, I thought, quick little shop update, because it's been a while. They finished the lot. We're waiting for the soil tester to come check out the lot and test the soil to make sure it's good. Well, it's gonna be good, but California, no. But the lot is done. Once the soil tester comes out, they'll flatten the lot, and it's good for some concrete. But now, let's do some R35 stuff. Maiden, as you guys can see, we are really giving the GTR some love. Pro probably something that we should have done before now when, when you got it painted. <laughs> <laughs> but all that matters is it's happening now and it's gonna be awesome. We are here today at Ceramic Pro because we are getting this thing PPF. And I'm not gonna go too much into it. I'm gonna let the pros do that, but it's very exciting because we are gonna preserve perfectly this Millennium Jade paint. And this is this has gotta be my favorite color car out of all the cars that I own. So protecting this in the proper way, definitely important. So I guess uh, we should go inside, go meet the crew, and let's get things started. Ready for this Millennium Jade to pop, I'm Tim? So ready. This has needed this for such a long time, so long. and so we're long. sending it today. So since we have finally made it to Ceramic Pro, we have my man Adam here, who's gonna be the tech head of the GTR project here. And I figured, just in case you guys like don't know, Adam, could you kind of explain what Ceramic Pro is for everybody? So Ceramic Pro is, for lack of a better term, a paint protection product, right? It's a nano ceramic coating. That's what we're known for. It goes on paint, protects the paint from environmental damages. But the reason why you're here is because we have a brand new product launch, our ceramic coated paint protection film. Which is gonna be absolutely insane. So something that we probably should have done right when we got the car painted was get the ceramic coating, but it's still really cool because we have a new product with Ceramic Pro that we're gonna be throwing on here and getting to show you guys kind of like the purpose and like kind of why you should do this, right? 100%, I think impromptu moment, <laughs> the reason why you should do this yes. is this, this. Here. yeah. So those are all just pesky rock chips that you know damage the car and then would cause you to have to repaint it, which diminishes value and repaint is never as good as factory. So on this one, we're gonna actually touch those spots up as best we can and then put the film over it. Yeah, so we're gonna make it as good as new because as you guys know, we've taken this car on a 2,000 mile road trip. This thing has been on the track. It's It's been driven. So now getting it to be protected for future notice, I mean, that, that's worth it. Protected and easier to maintain. Exactly, so let's freaking do it. So for you guys, I wanted to show this because it's gonna be so cool for the transformation of this. I mean, it's not gonna make too much of a difference nosebleed on the paint, but the actual product itself is super, super cool. And I have Adam here kind of walk us through it and he's actually gonna show us a little bit of the coating right now. So this is the actual roll right here? Yeah. You were saying before we put the coating on it. So it's important that people understand the distinction, right? So this is a ceramic coating. If you look in here, right, it's just a liquid. Right. And you apply the liquid, it permeates into the paint, kind of wipe out the excess, and that way it's akin to a wax, except for the actual material in the bottle is way different. Um, so this will make your paint harder, it'll make your paint slick, it'll make your paint really easy to clean, it will protect against burp poop stains, lots of environmental things. But this is a paint protection film. Paint protection film is known in three ways. Paint protection film, PPF, or clear bra. So this is basically a polyurethane. It's eight mils thick. What separates uh, one film from the next, uh, as we'll show you as we're doing the vehicle, a really good film will be really clear. And the reason why this one looks murky is because the adhesive makes it look murky. Right. Once you put it on the car, it's absolutely clear. Um, you'll also see that this one has n like no orange peel at all, so it adds like no texture. It also, what's most amazing at, uh, about it is, is that we took the technology that we really revolutionized with Ceramic Pro 9H and infused it into this paint protection film. So basically what we're saying is, yes, there's been paint protection film before, but there's never been this paint protection. This is it, this is the stuff that. This is the stuff, it's amazing. <laughs> Super clear, 
easy to use for the installer, amazing stain resistance, industry leading 12 year warranty, amazing. So there's coatings and there's film, two different things. And we're full sending it, we're crushing it today. We're gonna do all of it. <laughs> Obviously, step one here is to clean the car, right, Adam? Yeah, step one is to clean the car, so you'll notice uh, this is what we call a California way to clean. <laughs> uh, but So this is a, a, a no-rinse solution. It basically encapsulates dirt particles, and then you gently rub them off, rather than doing uh, high-pressure soap-style washes. Uh, I've been cleaning cars like this since probably 2006, and we've cleaned a lot of dirty cars. Um, but for those of you non-believers out there, <laughs> we do Ferraris, BMWs, C8 Corvettes, Teslas. It doesn't matter, just like this. It felt clean. I was like, oh, it's so easy. Like, it doesn't even really need this. But yeah. that's just stuff, That's just gross. Stuff that's just like caked in and stuck in there. That's crazy. And usually when it's like that, you can see it more clearly. But something's just, yeah. <laughs> GTR is all cleaned up and good to go. They clay barred it. This thing looks amazing, as you guys can probably tell. Right now, something that's really cool is that they actually have a machine that can generate the exact measurements for the GTR. So obviously mine's not stock, so I still have like the Varus kit, but as far as like the stock panels, like the, you said the hood, the roof, and the quarter panels, right? Yeah. All yeah. of that can be like pretty much laser cut to exact measurements. Exactly. That's super rad, so we're gonna check that out. So when you saw your hood, um, obviously you know your car, right? But it has, right. The, has the vents on it. And we could have plotted that, right. right? But then you would always have just like a space like this much right. around the, the, the vents. Um, so what we're doing in this process is bulk installing it. And the benefit of that is we get the best coverage possible. So we like, it's called deleting right. the, the vents and then we will be able to wrap the film in there and instead of having like little corners that are exposed like, like here right. where uh, the computer cut would do that, we're gonna be able to stretch it all the way over it and really make it seamless. All right, so what Brandon's doing basically is he's just laying the film out onto what we call a peel board, right? And even though this is a bulk piece, uh, some people will like peel the liner there um, and put it on, but you can sometimes get like some debris on the hood just in that in that one right. second where you're peeling it. So what he's doing is he's prepping the film. He's going to basically peel the liner here, and because it's on a vertical um, vertical board, it's very unlikely that any dust whatsoever will be able to get in there. And then he'll add slip solution underneath it, and then put the liner back on. And then when we leave it here, then we'll go back this way and clean the hood mm -hmm. right before you put it on. So even though we cleaned it, we clayed it, we cleaned it, we're going to clean it one second before the film's Wow, done. that's pretty freaking awesome. Guys, this looks amazing. So I, I didn't know what to expect from Shred. As, as I told you, I had ne I've never had a car um, PPF before, so I didn't know what to expect. You know what I mean? I don't know how it shows up on camera, but this is just, it makes the paint so much deeper. That is so crazy. I did, it's almost like glass, you know? Yeah. 
Okay. It's crazy. So like it brings out all the colors. You can really see the gold in the Millennium Jade here too. And even, I think you can see it a little bit on camera, even from the hood to the roof, that is crazy, man. When I tell like potential customers, I say, hey, it's literally like adding 10 layers of clear coat yeah. to your car. That is awesome. So. Uh, they let me do a little bit. I, I squeegeed, you know, I helped a little bit right at them. <laughs> I'm gonna let the professionals do the work and I think they're actually gonna do the rear quarter panel now too, right? We're gonna do the rear quarter panel too, just so you can see that whole process of, you saw the plot, then it's called weeding, uh -huh. where we kind of cut it out and then yeah, we'll put it on. Let's freaking do it, this is so cool. I can't wait to see what it looks like back there. Especially with like, get a, a shot of it like with the wheel. Oh, it looks so good. Look at that. That's it. I literally cannot get over the glassiness between the panel and now the rear bumper like that. That is so wild. So you guys are gonna do the entire car. And it's gonna look car. completely different. I mean, I don't know how much of the of, of it in camera you guys can see, but so that is the quarter panel that is done and then the rear bumper is not done and that's like noticeably more deep and glassy. That is so crazy, man. You can see like, even though we pre-cut this, right? Right. So this, this hangs over and then once it, dries out, we'll, we'll tuck it in so like the film will disappear. Right, exactly. And then here, like a traditional pre-cut, right, would, would go to this edge. Mm -hmm. We just extended it over and then we'll allow it to dry out and we'll push it, we'll push it all the way in. So you literally will not see where the film begins or ends. That is so awesome. Well guys, that is gonna be it for the GTR today. I'm letting the professionals take over here. They just finished up this rear quarter panel. I know that they're gonna tuck everything back in and make it look really good, but I am so excited to see this. Thing. Look at this, look at the shot right here. That is that is no protection, and then look at the, this is crazy. I, my mind is blown. I could sit in a chair right here and just stare. Cause that, <laughs> it really is so that good, I mean, the camera actually captures it really nicely with the lighting here, how good the film looks over just the regular paint. So, I mean, I'm gonna be at home just like waiting. It looks like the waiting. lights aren't on over there and the lights aren't on over Right, there. it's crazy. So, I'm excited. The pros are gonna take it over now. Adam, thank you so much You're for welcome. letting me, uh, you know, look at this stuff today. I'm super excited and I can't wait to see this thing completely done. But uh, I guess we'll get out of your hair now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, dude. We have made it home and I could not be any more stoked. Huge thank you to Ceramic Pro for doing this on the GTR. It's going to look amazing. As you guys can probably tell, it's absolutely insane. And if you guys stay tuned to the actual pickup video when the GTR is done, we are gonna be working together and giving you guys a free PPF for your car. So stay tuned for that if you guys wanna enter into that giveaway and win, win free paint protection for you guys. That's gonna be super, super cool. As you guys saw in the video, the GTR looks amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and leave all Ceramic Pro's information down in the description in case you guys wanna check them out for yourselves but I have about a week left until I can go pick up the GTR so it's gonna kill me but it's gonna be so freaking worth it as you guys saw at the beginning of the video the shop is really coming along I'm gonna have a full video on that very very soon because a lot's done they're digging up the driveway right now and it's gonna be a freaking sick guys so stay tuned for that as well if you guys have any questions about the shop uh, leave them in the comments so we can answer them in that video but other than that that's gonna be it for today and it was a little bit of a shorter one but once the GTR is done we're gonna take it on a little trip and put the PPF to work and it's gonna be amazing so thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as well as check out ceramic pro i'll see all of you guys in the next one peace out